What's up, guys? This is Webby, and this is your Clash of Champions preview and predictions. You know, the more I think about this Sunday's pay-per-view, the more I just kind of sit back and look at it as the card is stacked, but the build to the pay-per-view was kind of light. And it was just kind of flopped together. That's kind of how I see it. Um, I'm going to go over the pre-show real quick. Alicia Fox versus Nia Jax. This is a squash fest for Nia Jax. Period. In the story, Nia Jax will be victorious. This is based on... Alicia Fox throwing some stuff in Nia Jax's face, and then Nia Jax having a match with her and dominating her on Raw a couple weeks ago, and now they're slapping them on the pre show. Whoop de doo. Okay, whatever. Sami Zayn versus Chris Jericho. This is pretty good, I guess. You know, I like Chris Jericho. Maybe that's why. I like it. Honestly, this is what I think is going to happen. Sami Zayn's going to get the win, but at first, Sami Zayn will get the gift of Jericho. Breathe it in, man! So, Chris Jericho will lose to Sami Zayn. I see it coming. Sami Zayn has gotten a code breaker and a cell phone smashed in his face in the past on Raw, so I just I see Sami Zayn being victorious at Clash of Champions. Ryan Kendrick versus TJ Perkins for the Cruiserweight Championship. This is going to be a good matchup. I can't wait to see this. I wasn't quite sure why TJ Perkins was not on Monday Night Raw this past Monday. It made absolutely no sense to me why they debuted the Cruiserweights and they did not have the Cruiserweight Champion on Raw. That didn't make any sense to me at all. And I know it didn't make a lot of sense to a lot of you fans out there that watch wrestling. But this is going to be a great matchup. I can't wait to see what they let these two guys do. I know Brian Kendrick is the most notable person that's on the cruiserweight division right now brian kendrick you know he uh he has a heel type status so it only makes sense for him to get the shot as of right now to face tj perkins over the other guys one he's most notable and two he has a heel type and vince likes to do baby faces versus heels so that only makes sense i see tj perkins walking out Victorious, they're not going to have the cruiserweight champion lose on his very first match. Cesaro versus Sheamus. Who cares? Thank you. This is the last matchup. That's all I can say about that. No one cares about this crap. No one. It, it doesn't matter because honestly, Cesaro will probably win. He'll get a title shot. I would love to see him get shoot up to like a main event status. Will that happen? Probably not. And why? Because WWE just doesn't have the faith in Cesaro. Um, so they say that he's going to get a championship match, but they'll probably screw him over and give him some United States championship. Cesaro would do better on SmackDown, a more wrestling type show. He would do better. He would fit better. New Day versus Gallows and Anderson. I know there's going to be some joy juicer out there or some puppet out there that's going to say, Oh, but Wendy, why are you so negative, man? Why can't you be on New Day's side, man? Why? 
The New Day needs to drop their titles to Gallows and Anderson, and that's what I'm hoping happens. They've had their titles for more than a year now. It's time for them to drop it. The New Day is over. Give the titles to a tag team so they can get over, period. It's time for New Day to drop their titles. And I'm really tired of seeing this story. This whole putting New Day in retirement and the New Day saying it's stupid and not entertaining and all this crap. I'm really tired of seeing this story. We need to move on. And Gallows and Anderson need to capture the titles. New Day is just fine without them. Charlotte versus Sasha Banks versus Bailey triple threat match for the women's championship. This will be a great contest, but you know, I was really hoping that it was really kind of a one-on-one -on -one matchup. You know, but this is going to be a great contest. Honestly, now that it's a triple threat, I see Charlotte still walking out the women's champion. Because it's a triple threat matchup. But, you know, the only thing that keeps me kind of questioning that, though, is the fact that Charlotte won this past Monday. And usually people that win the Monday before the pay-per-view or the Tuesday before the pay-per-view don't win at the pay-per-view. Not all the time. Sometimes they win on Monday and then win at the pay-per-view. But, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out that way. So, you know, she might lose. But as of right now, I'm still banking on Charlotte winning because it's a triple threat match. And really, I was hoping that it would have been just Sasha versus Charlotte in this. And then the winner face uh, Bailey. But, you know, whatever. But this is going to be a great matchup. Rusev versus Roman Reigns. Ugh. Rusev, please win. That's all I can say about this. Please win, Rusev. You know, Rusev needs the victory. Do not give the United States Championship to Roman Reigns. One, it doesn't make sense that the title is on Roman Reigns. Because Roman Reigns just picked up the victory on Raw over Kevin Owens. Two, Rusev needs to win so he can go from here to here instantly. And you can start making a new star. Instead of just burying Rusev by feeding him to Roman Reigns. It doesn't make any sense to do that. But WWE seems to do stuff that doesn't make sense most of the time. So... I can see them giving the title to Roman Reigns just out of stupidity. Now, do I want that to happen? No, I want Rusev to walk out the victory. But will WWE do that? I, I, I just can't see that happening. I hope they do the right thing, though, and Rusev win. And finally, Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins in the main event for the Universal Championship. This match has a lot of questions that needs to be answered. Why on earth did Triple H cost Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns the WWE Universal Championship on Monday Night Raw? We have not heard from Triple H since he did this. We need these questions answered. We might get them at Clash of Champions. I'm hoping we get them at Clash of Champions. It's time for us to get those answers. Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins. This is going to be a great matchup. You know, some people say that Kevin Owens is going to drop his title. There were reports that came out that said that he's going to drop his title because ratings have sucked. You can't blame that all on Kevin Owens. You know, there's been Monday Night Football that's been going on. You have to look at your creativity, WWE. You know, your creativity on Raw has sucked here recently. You know, so there's other factors that go into that. If they drop the title to Seth Rollins this Sunday, we all know why. But I tell you what, we need answers from Triple H and know why he cost these guys the 
matchup and gave the title to Kevin Owens? We all want to know these answers. This will be a great matchup. As of right now, I see Kevin Owens still walking out of Clash of Champions. Still your WWE Universal Champion. That's what I'm seeing right now. So overall, we have a pretty good show. It's, it's a stacked show. I wish that the build to the show would have been better. But it's a pretty good stacked show. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Like me on Facebook, Webby at 2007 Webby. Follow me on Twitter, Webby at 2007 Webby. If you missed my SmackDown review, go back and check that out. Monday Night Raw review from this past week, go back and check that out. Catch me tonight for my NXT review. Until then, this is Webby, and I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.